solar reflectance. Uh, Rebecca, it's uh, your turn. Thank you. Thank you, Daniel. Um, a great presentation. Um, I'm going to try and keep my um, presentation quite short because I want to make sure that we have enough time for um, for everybody else to get through their slides. Um, I appreciate if you uh, will have a really deep understanding of energy efficiency and why it's important. We've had some great presentations there from uh, Professor Matt Santamoris and from Denya. Um, so basically, I just wanted to uh, give you some background on what's driving the adoption of cool roofs uh, in the marketplace. Um, there's a drive to manage and restrain the growth in energy consumption uh, we've all uh, heard all, all about earlier. Um, it's specifically in the European Union, um, we've got some 2020 targets uh, for the year 2020. We'd like to reduce our uh, greenhouse gas emissions by 20%, um, raise the use of renewable energy to 20%, uh, and have a 20% reduction in, uh, or improve energy efficiency. Um, on this slide, um, we talk about buildings um, and the impact that these have on, on energy consumption. Um, a large portion of the energy used is consumed by buildings, about 40% of primary energy consumption. Other uses uh, and uses include transport, agriculture, commercial uh, and public services. Um, on the right-hand side, you can see the chart, um, and here we look at the impact, uh, what impacts on the, the cooling load of a building. Wind was uh, a large portion of it, uh, and a lot of industry are working very hard on reducing the um, or increasing the energy efficiency of windows. In gains, uh, um, again, industry working hard to uh, increase the energy efficiency of appliances, services, that type of thing. And we have the roof um, and the wall gain. Uh, specifically, looking at the roof, this is where cool roofs can play a huge part in reducing this uh, cooling load impact. Um, and as Matt Santamoris um, has already uh, discussed with us, uh, cool roofs can significantly reduce the energy consumption uh, of buildings. A study in America uh, conducted by uh, Dr. Hashem Akbari um, looked at specific commercial buildings, um, and he, his research told us that increase in the solar reflectance index of a roof to uh, 0.55 could yield annual cooling energy savings across America of five. Uh, five kilowatt hours per square meters per square meter sorry um, and that that could reduce co2 emissions uh, quite dramatically by three kilogram per square meter so there's the massive potential here as I mentioned um, the other benefits to cool uh, cool roofs uh, diminished peak demand uh, on the power grid less blackouts uh, specifically in countries like South Africa this could be a huge benefit um, I guess less so um, for the, the EU. Increased life expectancy of the roof system. A lot of our industry partners are looking very hard at this at the moment, uh, whether reducing the uh, heating and cooling cycles of the roof system could improve its lifetime, which can uh, can improve whole lifetime costs. Again, mitigation of the urban heat island effect that Matt Santamoris covered, um, covered earlier. There's many different agencies that are promoting the benefits of cool roofs uh, globally. You've got the Global Cities Alliance. Um, in America, New York City Cool Roof Ordinance, the Cool Roofing Council in America, and obviously the Cool Roof Rating Council in, in Europe. I think it's fair to say that America's really led the, um, the promotion of cool roofs globally, uh, and the rest of us are, are just starting to catch up. Uh, Europe, we've got specific um, standards in France uh, for solar reflective facade coatings. Um, the Incool Roof Council um, obviously has been recently formed, and in U the UK, uh, BREAM certification uh, talks about cool roof uh, or cool materials helping to mitigate the urban heat island, of which London, I believe, is, is one. In North America, uh, we've got the US uh, Building Council's Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design Rating System. And again, that specifically mentions cool roofs. California, Title 24 standards um, about cool roofs. And as Energy Star uh, suggests themselves that air conditioning could be reduced by, um, I think, have cool roof and peak cooling demand by about 10 to 15 percent, which is quite a large number. In, um, recently, has sort of started catching up, uh, doing a lot of research on cool roofs finding out uh, that what the benefits are. Japan's issued some standards uh, that talk about not only um, solar
still reflectance but near infrared reflectance as well. Um, basically that takes out the colour from the roof system so the infrared reflectance just looks at how much heat is actually being absorbed into the building below. Uh, China over the last few months has issued this new standard uh, which is incredibly comprehensive and quite difficult for industry partners to meet. However, um, working together, we've got solutions uh, for different roofing roofing types. Okay, as I mentioned, industry are working together uh, to produce a range of cool roof materials from coatings in a wide range of, of colours using re reflective pigments uh, to pre-painted metal uh, roofing systems, uh, again using reflective materials, uh, white roofs, uh, coloured roofs, tiles, uh, tiles that are coated. There's there's a plethora of, of new products in the market, and I would encourage you to um, to look at products available in your area, uh, or contact the European Coast Council uh, for more information from our membership on those. Um, and thank you for that very short presentation from me. Um, I believe I'm back to to Alex. Are there any questions?